I told you. So what's going on with you, Deja? Feeling good, man. I was actually off today, so I got to get all my errands in. Finally, that I need to get done and made it here on time. I was actually early. Well, look at that. I was actually, I think I was here before you, Spider. Uh-oh. Yeah. Before nah. five? I know, I was here at like 5.30 because I was already in the area. Really? So I'm like, if I go back home, I'm going to be late. So let me just stay right here. I got here at five. I, I, I took a nap in the break room. See, that's what I'm talking about. That's right. <laughs> I was in the area. You already know I live too far, so I was not trying to drive in that right, LA right. traffic. You already know. It's crazy. It was a little bit of traffic coming down here today, and then I had to park. So far, I got mm. two damn parking tickets trying to, you know, park here. And <laughs> I think I did see you. Did you drive around the back? Like where there's not supposed to be no parking to try to find parking? Yeah, I was <laughs> today. Girl, yeah, yeah, like six fifty five. Yeah. Well, no, 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 no. It was like six forty. Wait a minute, six fifty five. How you see her and you inside? Exactly. Well, Lying no, no, I mean, like six, a day. No, six forty five. I mean, How I was sitting in my her? car trying to wait. I'm like, I ain't see, nobody texting me. Yet. <laughs> see, she be lying. She lost some time. Every time, Deja, you be catching your old self up. No, I was here before. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Anyways, back to my story. So you know in the back when you park, you know, you're supposed to have a permit or whatever. So I finagled the system. I don't know how long it's going to work, but I put a little receipt up in the window to make it look like I got that little um, permit tag. Okay? And they've been leaving me alone, okay? You can't even spell finagle. It's finagle, not finagle. Oh my God, Either way, you can't say spell it. Right. it. You know what, shut up. Get trying to say Fandango? I was about to say Fandango. <laughs> no. <laughs> talking about the movies, what the shit. Anyways, so what's going on in the entertainment industry? It's, you know, some bullshit. Um, well, I did see that thing about uh, Young Jeezy and that girl, Jeannie Mae, from uh, The View. Right. And everybody getting her mixed up. Right. That's hilarious. Because did you see? <laughs> I see I'm, did y'all see the part where she said, like, earlier this season that she doesn't date black men? But Yes. Yeah, she's like, you Wait, know, you talking about the, the girl on The View? She said that she doesn't date black Yeah, the girl, no, the girl Brenda, actually her name is Brenda. She said that she doesn't date, no. I'm getting them mixed up too. Jeannie See, is the girl. That's how shit happens. Yeah, no, Jeannie, they look just alike. Meanwhile, they're both Asian, but Jeannie's the girl from The View. Mm-hmm. So she says she likes to mess around with black men, but as far mm-hmm. as having an actual relationship, she prefers white men. Right. AKA, hey, she likes to take the D from black men. Right. <laughs> but white men, that. you know, she likes and they to They were trying me. to get on her too on The View. They was like, wait a minute, did I just hear that correct? It was like, so you just want the black man on the side? What did she say? A side of a black man? Well, kind of Basically, shit. yeah, she's trying to talk in court. I'm like, girl, we know what you really mean. Man, hold up. <laughs> this, this is all bullshit. <laughs> Nicki Minaj retired right. today. Oh, my God. <laughs> Y'all talking like, about this bullshit? Let's talk about this. Wait a minute. We the was queen, getting to the queen that. Retired. Real or we like, to get to she that. is. Uh, she just in a relationship. Nigga, that's what it this is. is the last time she was getting made fun of on the ground. That twerking video when she couldn't twerk? <laughs> she was. She had enough. Everybody was not it. fucking with her. I miss that. What happened in the video? Spot? The make the make the stallion video. Y'all ain't seen the video. Oh, everybody, was talking, about, yeah, yeah. everybody was talking about. Yeah, everybody was talking about Nikki. Yeah, and it was. It, it didn't. I ain't gonna hold you. It did not look good. It did not. <laughs> it didn't look good. It's not amazing. It wasn't. I did not see it. Uh, she was twerking and. Was she, there- it was kind of like an epic fail. I was like, damn, how'd the director let that shit slide? Did it look like her ass shots of movie? Nah, really, she really, I, I everybody know Nikki could twerk. It's more of like, um, her she body, her body position was, wasn't, it wasn't a good spot for her to be twerking. So she, it didn't look like she was moving her butt at all. Oh, in the water. Nah, she was on the, she was on like a, um. <laughs> oh, that's another one. They nah. trying to make some kind right. of like, oh, she was in the water. Well, no, she was twerking <laughs> in the water too and people was talking crazy like, I don't know what that was. Nah, <laughs> you, you know the little, uh, the little benches you sit by the pool? I don't know, the, the lounges, the recliners? Mm-hmm. So she was, she was her, her knees were on the bench, but her hands were on the ground. Oh, jeez. Imagine trying to twerk like that. Somebody can do it. Just some, not her. Right. Interesting. <laughs> well, they need to leave Nikki alone. I mean, she already got sex appeal, so she don't really got to. She retired today. She right retired here. after. <laughs> right right <laughs> after that shit that's came out. True. Like, it's it's true. She wrote it on Twitter. Oh, mm-hmm. She wrote a lot of shit on Twitter. Mm-hmm. She I don't know. Sad. She was supposed to. She was supposed to pay for kids' tuition, and she didn't do that. So who knows? Oh, hell <laughs> no. Wait, what kids? Oh damn! <laughs> I missed that one. You did. Mm-mm. Nikki said, "Fuck them kids." She said she was gonna pay for anybody's uh, college tuition I who submitted that. their like their 
their invoice, obviously, from the school. Oh, or if they dope. need help with their books, like, she was going to pay all of it. I remember that. A lot, of kids was, a lot of kids was putting that shit out there. And oh, she cold for that. Thinking <laughs> that she was all going right, go ahead and retire, Nikki. <laughs> <laughs> uh-uh, that's crazy. What else is going on out there? Well... Come on, you're supposed to be. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, well, Kevin Gates. Did y'all see the clip about oh, him yeah. talking about the transgender? Yeah, right. Yeah. And so that, <laughs> man, this is when we need Sophia here because this is her topic. To <laughs> week. Every week she want to talk about the trannies and, and you know, and all yeah. that stuff. Oh, but this is actually, you know, some shit like Malik Yova. Yeah. Oh, wait, we talking about Kevin Gates. Okay, then we're going to move to Malik Yova because... It's a lot of shit going on with the transgenders. Let me say it right. I don't want to call them trannies. Wait, so is that yeah, the tr- is that the transgender that he was actually on the live with Malika? No, 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 no. <laughs> they no, changed their names. I can't keep no. up. Malika. No, Malisha. the tranny that he was on live with. I don't know who that was, but everybody was shocked at Kevin Gates' response yeah. about it because he was like, "That's their business. That's they business. Like, I don't care about them." But I think right. that was a real comment because there's so many people who are just like, "Oh, you gay? I don't want to talk to you." That's cool, but it's like. You need to be either say something good or just say, don't say anything at all because they're coming out now and you're going to see them. They're around. Oh, so they're in the bathrooms with us. I mean, they everywhere. <laughs> no, they are. I was in the store the other day. I'm like, <laughs> what's going on here? I mean, hey. they taking over. No, they are. we taking over. <laughs> but no, he was, on, uh, he was on live saying that, you know, he has no problem with it because he's been to jail before and hey, to each his own. And I think that was cool because, you know, so many people are just so quick to just bash transgenders. Right, right. So, shout general. out to you, Kevin Gates. Right. You a grown man about yours. Now, I'm not going to lie, the one on face, the transgender that he was on FaceTime with, she did look like a girl. She I mean, did. I mean, she had the lashes, the sex appeal. Right. She was like, because you and know. no something about the nose. It <laughs> yes. was just really feminine. And I was like, that's not a girl. I'm like, damn, you done. No, at first I didn't even know until she was like, at the end, she was like, because you know Cause you I'm know a trans, trans too. I'm like, whoa, yeah. whoa, whoa. Yeah, I didn't believe it. I was like, whoa, what is the fuck with this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, they're they coming out now. So we right. Also in the news is Malik Yoba. Do you guys remember him from New York Undercover? He, you know, he played in a lot of different movies, um, Cool Runnings. All that has just been spreading like a wildfire because he actually stepped up and admitted that you know he finds transgenders attractive and everyone mm. was like what the hell Cause wait 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 he said he had finished he finds them attractive and he's standing up for the transgenders and stuff and he was saying how he has like a bunch of trans friends and, and is he a straight man he's a straight man okay he was saying <laughs> he tried i was trying to listen to it and make sense of it i don't really like listening to that because i i don't i don't know if i agree with it i don't, I don't know agree with what the, the transgenders I'm you know I'm really like on the fence and I'm trying to understand it because they say like okay for transgenders I guess for the most part the men that are wanting to become women and whatnot they want to still date women they want Some to still, of women, them. still women spot no listen to me Dave. Some, Some of them <laughs> want to be transgender and date women and still yeah lesbian Basically. Like they're still, you know they want to be like trans. Mm. They want to be like in trans relationship. So basically, they're gonna find like, like Bruce Jenner. girl. Yeah, like yeah. <laughs> how he still loves women. Supposedly, I don't. But understand. he wants to be a woman, but he still has like a penis. Yeah, it's like that. that's weird. But there's like some dudes that like that. Yeah, they're like, oh, you look like a girl, but you have that. Okay, but you look like a girl. Okay, right. Yeah, no, I had a situation <laughs> where a uh, so-called cross-dresser tried to hit on me, but I thought he was just cool until he was like, well, yeah, you should give me your number because, you know, I, I like, you know, dressing up and stuff, but my wife, and I'm like, what? your wife? But you dress like a girl, like, which, and you a man, I'm so confused, but... And he trying to get your number. That's what I'm saying, girl. People be this confused, but, hey, like Kevin Gay said, to each his own. <laughs> That's so crazy. Another Kevin that's in the news is Kevin Hart. He was involved in a car accident. And they said, um, you know, I was trying, my mind was going to the left real quick. Because I was like, who was all in the car? They said there was a woman in the car. And this is how rumors get started. And it was like, oh, maybe it was his mistress in there with him. But it was another man. And I I guess it was his wife's um, 
um, trainer who was with him or whatever. But it was a bad car accident. Yeah, I Did heard. You guys hear about it? No, I heard two different sides. Somebody told me he got up and actually walked home. Then somebody else said he got dragged out the car and it was a bad accident. So which one was it? It was real bad. They said it was no, it was real bad. Like the roof of the car came off and everything. Um, but they said some like a driver had came and picked him up and took him home. And from the house is when he went to the hospital. They said if he was six two, he'd have been dead. Really? <laughs> so that's, luckily he's a short. Yeah. Oh. See, that's, that's when it's good to come be short. <laughs> it comes right. in handy. And they said he had like two surgeries and everything. Aw, well, I'm so glad you're okay, Kevin. Okay, so, yeah, hopefully everything's okay. He needs know. to come out with a new show. Yeah, we don't. We will see, and time will tell. But for now, we're going to go ahead and cut to a little break real quick. Our first guest has just arrived. We're going to talk a little bit about Charles Clemens and Danny Riaz. They are in the building today. So we're going to um, go ahead and talk. Uh, cut to a break real quick, and we're going to be right back with Champagne Party. Brought to you by Marcus King Presents on what? Dash Comedy. Deja, thank you. Hey, hey, Deja. <laughs> Hey, 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 welcome back to Champagne Party. And guess who we got in the building? We hey, got hey. Charles and Danny. What's hey, up? Hey. Oh, How strange is man? What's going on? Yeah. Moving and grooving. Yeah, we've been working hard. Working hard or hardly working? <laughs> Y'all always working. Tell us what's been going on. Let I ain't gonna lie, I took a little break for the summer. For the know. summer? I know you're not supposed to break during the summer. That's the time you're supposed to do the most work, but I had to just rest and watch what was going on in the world. Mm -hmm. But uh, now we're back. What was going on? Tell me. Uh, hot girl summer. Hot girl <laughs> summer. <laughs> yes, it definitely was. A lot of thought going on, Charles. <laughs> Charles. A lot of stuff. Wait, tell us. I want to know what was going on. Uh, well. Why you trying to look away? You like, who <laughs> watching? You know, no. We've basically been trying to set up a lot of deals, you know, a lot of meetings, and you know, we trying to get to Netflix. That's oh, our okay. that's our goal right here, oh, right okay. now. Oh, you didn't want to tell all the the juicy stuff <laughs> yet, huh? You like, hold up, wait, let me stop it. him. Charles yeah. was just about to spill it. <laughs> he was like, no, Charles, <laughs> shut up. We have um. We're going to production next week to finish up a movie we're doing starring Brian Hooks, who's in the movie. Um, he was in Three Strikes. People know him for that. Mm -hmm. um, this one is called Boy Bye. And Let's, right, I didn't yes. mean to cut you off. Why don't we tell the listeners exactly who you are, like tell them your oh. name and exactly what it is you do, and then we're going to get into all of that. Well, you guys might know me as C2, uh, a.k.a. Charles Clemens, um, director, producer, writer. C2? 20 years in the business. <laughs> Um, directed Don't Drop That Dun Dun Dun, Run Me My Money, um, Kim, Marsha and Rocha, Waka Flocka, the list goes on, Corrupt, Little awesome. Scrappy, yep, Nipsey. R.I.P. Charles, he, no, he doesn't know. Talk, talk so professional right now. This is so <laughs> interesting. Okay, Danny, and let everybody know who you are. I'm Danny. I'm a production manager, business partner, you know. Sidekick, I mean, you know. Yeah, Danny got that whatever. voice. Right, that's what I was just about <laughs> to got say. That voice. Got that raspy going on. I ain't trying to. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I got the operator voice. Yeah, that sexy voice and all that. Right. You're going to have to get you to write an R&B song, you know, like that Teddy Pendergrass. Yeah, everybody's trying to get me in the studio. Let me just, uh, just say something. Right, just say right. Something. Just say something. We'll edit it. Okay. Mm. And loop it over. Right, right. There you go. Okay. Take being in the studio. I'm sorry. Uh -uh. They just play the same songs over and over, and I ain't heard it. Like we got five it. hours. Right. I mean, come on now, man. And let me tell you this: I've been trying to get on this show for over a year, oh, yeah. and I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm here. I'm excited. Okay, I'm trying to hold in the excitement. Oh, we're happy to have you, Charles. Yeah. But uh, thanks for having me. Of course. I know every time I contact you, I feel like you're in a different city. I'm like, Charles, are you free today? He's like, nope. I'm like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> week number two, oh, you yeah. free today? Uh-uh. I'm like, you ain't never free. Booked and busy. We gotta catch up, though. We do. No, we do. That's, that's good. That's Plus good. Plus his brain never stopped working, so. Right, right. Yes. Yeah. So what are the projects that you're working on now? Well, the biggest one is the C2 TV Awards 19. It's, 
It's here again. Hello. It's coming this Hello. December. Um, I have my host, and I'm glad to announce my host is Mr. Harry Spears. Oh, okay. Shout out to him. Okay. Um, and we're trying to make this big. Um, right now, we're working on our location. Um, when know, is it going to be? December. December. Uh, the first week before Christmas. Mm. Okay. That's crazy. I feel like it was just it was it just happened. It's right. been a year already. Oh, it's been a right. year. Wow. Okay. Was it last year that we hosted? Yeah. It was an all white. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. No, that was a yeah, yeah, last year. Yeah, that's Red right. Carpet. The one before that, that's the one that um, Sophia was getting into with the French oh, yeah. ladies. Or oh yeah, sure. yeah, I was like, what did ha what happened? She was, I I was ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, she was like, they just they just cut us a name. I'm like, oh lord, now we all gotta get hyped. <laughs> Shout out to Sophia, we missing you tonight, girl. All right, right. you're here with us in spirit. <laughs> right, right. Um, but no, that that's good. So when is, you said it's uh, December? Yes, uh, we're aiming for the 16th. And what exactly are you going to do? Because I know you do oh, something perfect. different Here we go. each time. So this year is different. There's no theme. No theme. Now, the last mm -hmm. two years I did all gold, and then I did the all white. Mm -hmm. um, this year is no theme. It's just come as you are. Okay. Come nice. Um, also, first time we're catering to kids. So oh, we got nice. kid categories. We're going to have some kid performances. So oh, trying to nice. change it up a little bit, bring nice. a new audience in. Okay. okay, so kids can come too? Yes. Oh. This will be kid friendly. Yes. Are you sure? So, yes. So that means it's not going to be no alcohol there then? Oh, uh, yeah. How are you going to do that? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, we didn't say that. Hey, how are we going to do this here? Right. Let's see. We'll put the kids over there. <laughs> no. We, we got a babysitter. Thank you. We got a babysitter on the side. <laughs> a babysitter on the side. in daddy's cup. That's uh, right. <laughs> and you can't have none. Yeah. Right, right. Well, that's a bunch. Okay. There you go. Look at it. See, Uncle Danny, <laughs> you get the punch. <laughs> yeah. So how did you start the C2 Awards? Like, where did that exactly come from? Oh, wow. Um, the first year, was it 14? 14. Like, you're like, yeah. I don't think. 2014. <laughs> Charles, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think it was start like that. Then he kickstart my first awards, which I loved. Oh, okay. um, the I started in at fourteen, and I had Dwayne Finley from the Wood. He was the host. I had two hosts, and Nikki Jean, she was the second host. Uh, shout out to them. And I was sitting in my room one day, and I was really bored. And you know, I edit. I do a lot of editing, and oh, I had footage. <laughs> I had footage of all this, of the content I did, and I started playing with it. And you know what's so funny? I did a nomination package that was just for, um, just for giggles. You know, I was like, this is cool, like a little nomination. And I was like, yo, what if I turn this into a real thing? And, just, mm -hmm. and well, the crazy part was I had enough content that I was like, I'm going to get myself an award show. Oh, nice. <laughs> you know, I had web series, I had music videos, I had um, pilots. So I was like, it would be good to like recognize the people that are acknowledged, the people that really helped me um, throughout the year with these projects. So. I've never been acknowledged, <laughs> Charles. Your time is coming. Uh -huh. <laughs> you say that every year. It's an award <laughs> show. Waiting. It's an award show. For every year. <laughs> exactly. I want my damn Sorry. award. <laughs> what award you gonna get, Felicia? Yeah, was, supporting, <laughs> supporting friend and actress and. Whatever else, I'm writing, sorry, you, you know. Because where y'all was nominated. Me, no, Danny. How, how about biggest complainer? <gasps> uh -oh. <laughs> me? You guys think I complain? <laughs> I'm complaining right now. Uh -oh. I'm just saying. <laughs> we are gonna make sure that you get nominated. We, now, yeah, we, we have nothing to do with the selection process. <laughs> you know. So, Danny, you help with the selection process also. Don't cut me off real no. quick, Deja. Oh, I'm complaining. That's Spider <laughs> says. <laughs> Actually, this year I did for the first time because normally I don't mm. because I don't care who wins as long as I win. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right, as long as Danny wins. Yeah, <laughs> but this year I didn't win nothing, so. It was always next year. Always next year. Right, Charles, yes. that's what you always yes. tell me. Yes. It's always next year. I was year. presented with my award from a few years back. Oh. <laughs> I was like, well, I'm going to just give you an award because you didn't accept it the last time. So. <laughs> and, and the great thing is that I, I do the awards to encourage people to work with my company because I do want to give back, and that's my way of giving back. 
So, so I'm curious to know how did you and Danny meet? Where did y'all come into, you know, working together? Danny, fun story. You looking at him like you don't fun know him. Story. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, he, was he was like, Danny, how, where, where did I meet him? Like, like, how? <laughs> He's the. They, you tell it, Danny. He used to he date somebody knew. that I knew. Uh oh, that's why. I don't talk to anyone. I had moved. Actually, I was in the transition of just coming out here to visit. Mm -hmm. They told me to go out for a movie, and I went out for the movie, and I got the part. Wow. Yes. And I was like, I have never acted before, but they, everybody was like, you did that so perfect. They just was like, I was leaving out the door and somebody came downstairs and was like, hey, what are you doing for the next two months? I said, not a damn thing. What? No. Just like that. And that, <laughs> I mean, our relationship blossomed. I think I just called him one day and was like, hey, man, I want to do something, man. I'm tired of sitting around while we waiting on, wow. you know, funding. Right, like, let's right. do something. Because when we started off, it was just me and him. Mm. Just basically people had left and came and went and you know how shit go I mean right it happens you know it happens you know I remember that Danny memories yeah. memories yeah. it's about time you remember something Charles. right <laughs> you know what's so funny about life it's crazy with that. Brandy who the video we did Brandy or oh, whatever her name was <laughs> 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 Stop being <laughs> lying. <laughs> right, right. But it was nice though, and I was like, you know what, well, from this, like, you know, how can I be a part of this? Right. Instead of being an employee, like, how can I be a partner with you? Right. He was like, man, just come with me, man, and I got you. Nice. I was always a street person. Right. So I went from streets to, he said, man, leave that alone, man. I don't yeah. want to be doing something while you sitting in the prison. So Aww. I just left all that alone, and I had to find a new way out to survive. Yeah. I'm surviving like hell. Yeah, now. yeah. Right. I'm that's like, good. Good looking out. Like, mm -hmm. The people that come into your life that you don't think will have a big impact with you, you right. know, and it's like, wow, like I never expected this relationship to happen. Yeah, me neither. You know, and um, we've been rocking ever since. We were looking, we were looking at each other funny at first, like. <laughs> <laughs> Who the hell? I don't know about you. <laughs> now I'm curious to know what's your astrology sign because I always we always Aquarius. ask all the guests. Oh, okay. So we got the free spirit and what's your astrology? Gemini. Uh -huh. Okay, the Gemini. Gang. Okay. So two. Now it all makes Gang. sense. Two Charles <laughs> is a Gemini. I've been dealing with two people this whole time. No wonder why he don't act like he remembers. See, Spider Two. Uh -huh. Spider, all these Gemini's. I'm cold. No, but you guys are good, good people. Y'all just. Switch you know. up on you. Mm -hmm. Look, Daddy, see, you know, you know. <laughs> yeah. But we love you. You have to let them be, you have to let a Gemini no, we, be a Gemini. That's funny because Geminis, we all think we're normal. But to other people, we're two sided. Definitely. Bro, I'm <laughs> mad normal. Like today, I see Spider, I didn't even know that was him. I'm like, oh, oh Spider's this. Last week he was a thug. This week he's a, a judge. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the hell? He got a tie, uh, button up, slide. <laughs> Yeah. Sell insurance. Right. Oh, right. <laughs> I was like, where are you saying? He's like, I had an interview. I was yeah. like, oh, okay. You <laughs> just smoking last week. No, I'm just saying. No, we lying on Spider. No, I love y'all Geminis, but y'all definitely do have two personalities. So that's for you get, sure. You get Spider, and you get the trap. Y'all are kind of up in the air, too. But I love y'all both, though. <laughs> She's the astrologer of the show. Oh, yeah. If you guys haven't noticed, that's what she does. She, you know, lets everybody know their faults and their great points and all of the above. I do. And we always work with Tamara, so. Right, right, right. That's how we just, I mean, because I remember y'all first started, we did y'all first promo. You sure did. I remember I still that. Got it on, I still got it on, on, on my phone. Right. <laughs> That was fun too, getting kicked out of where we Rodale Drive. Yeah. <laughs> trying to film. We trying to film and security looking at us like, uh uh, what y'all doing? You need a permit. Come on, leave us alone. We just need a little bit, just a minute. <laughs> but that was fun. I love that. Yeah, no, that was a good video. So what okay, so you have the awards coming up this year in December. Yes. And what other projects are, are coming up? Because you're always doing something. You guys are always doing oh. something. You got the party. Hold up. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. The party. <laughs> yes, the mansion party. Now let me tell you the theme about that. It was it's a rebranding party. Um, because 
Like I told you, I have to take a break for the summer and just watch a lot of things. Okay, you still didn't tell us why. I'm interested to know why you had to take a break. It seems like it's He got on a no days off shirt and took a break. Was just saying. <laughs> I know this sounds crazy, but I feel like sometimes when you do too much in this business, it gets it gets hated on a little bit, and, it, and people get tired of you. Who cares about them? Right. Yeah, I know. Yeah, you do Not what you do. Me. But you have to sit back and, and you have to watch and see what is no in. what it is he start enjoying life <laughs> <laughs> he had to take some time that too. to enjoy life right yeah right. let's <laughs> take a break i've been going i've been going for a long time as far as like in this business you know constantly moving and writing and producing and i just want to take a break all night yeah. oh yeah. i just walk like at his door and i'm mm-hmm. like hey you still up bro <laughs> yeah did you sleep last night he'd be like yeah i slept no you didn't <laughs> Yeah, I'm no. ready to cut his computer off one day. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he would have got on you for that. Don't touch the computer. I don't yeah. Just go to sleep, man. Please. <laughs> yeah. But no, Charles, you actually are really good at what you do. So, you know, you got to stay at that. You know, when you take breaks, they're like, where's Charles at? We're looking right. for them videos and edits. And he's yeah. always doing something. So definitely right, keep up right. at it for don't sure. Don't get discouraged. Man. Oh, no, no, not discouraged. Say. But I wanted to just really just sit back, watch, see what was going on in the world. Did you see anything? And I did. <laughs> what did you see? What did you see? Um, <laughs> uh, don't trust everybody. That part. Mm-hmm. I saw, you know what's funny? I saw a lot of fakeness. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, people that said they rocked with you and then talked about you behind your back. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, yeah. We always. You know, so I was just, man, I'm just like, I had to reevaluate my crew, mm-hmm. my team, like people that was in my circle. Right. You know, you got rid of the whole that. circle. Yeah, so it's a dot now, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 whole circle. But sometimes it'd be like that, though. Sometimes yeah. you gotta. We've had to do that, too, before. You know, this wasn't the original champagne party. Oh, we had to revamp, you know. and it's hard, but, it's, it's, you know. It's who sticks at the end. Right, it's That's necessary nice. at times, so mm-hmm. definitely feel yes. So with the, with the party, um, I wanted to just revamp my company. New, no, new logo, new clothing, um, new clientele, um, and I wanted to bring in new people that could come and make a difference with our company. Mm-hmm. So it's a it's a big movement with this. Nice. Okay. It's not just a party. It's 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 a big purpose and meaning behind it. So. Okay. All right. Well, we're gonna go ahead and cut to a little break, and then we'll bring you back just for a quick outro when we come back after these messages. You guys are listening to Champagne Party. Brought to you by Marcus King Presents Sound Dash Comedy. Go Westby, go Westby. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, welcome back to Champagne Party. <laughs> no, I'm over here laughing. Why would they uh, watch when she plays City Girls? You took your headphones off. I'm like, oh, she about to get it. She about Wait, to no. get it. It wasn't C- C- Deja, it wasn't City Girls. That's sweetie. Sweet City Girls. It, it actually is my type. Remix. My type. Oh, yeah, I love that song. That's my song. She was like, hold up. I'm uh-huh. like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. We ain't coming back just yet. Let me hear this song real quick. It's oh, something oh about God. the beat. I love it. <laughs> yeah, no, it does turn up. So. Mm. But so yes, we were talking to our guest, Mr. Charles Clemens, aka C2, and Mr. Danny up in the building. Yes. And, that and they was talking about their party that they have coming up. So, yeah, we, we're about to be lit for this. Yo, this is going to be the party of the summer. It's still yes. summer. Y'all know that, right? Of course. Yes, it was hot as hell yesterday. <laughs> hot as hell today. Man. <laughs> yeah, no, in the okay, so I got a question. What? What's what does hot girl summer mean? Uh, they got a lot of different meanings. What is it? It's hot girl summer versus city girls city or something? Girls, yeah. No, I just heard hot girl summer. So it's just meaning I, how I take it is, you know, the women, you know, they embracing themselves. They out there doing their thing, not giving a damn about a man. And, you know, doing them. Exactly. That ain't what I found out. I don't know what it is. Not giving a damn about a man. <laughs> Well, that's good. That's good. Top down, they be like waving all over the floor. <laughs> you know why? Twerking, twerking on the car. They, uh, uh, 
they probably been following you, Danny. They see all right. your pics that you be posting in the gym. They like, hold up, wait a minute. And then they see it. They're like, that's Danny. There you go. That's what you look like underneath your shirt. <laughs> What's going on over there under that shirt, Danny? What's going on? Uh, man, you, you been working to, out. You have to go to Danny Asshole on Instagram to see that. Uh oh. You hear that, ladies? Danny Uh-oh. Asshole. You will see what's underneath the shirt. Now, why <laughs> do you ever call it Danny Asshole? Because I just have an attitude problem. You have a you? <laughs> you got an attitude problem. You saw my so I have not. For real? Mm mm. What is, oh, oh what's you. the tattoo say? Fuck you. Oh, <laughs> why? Why'd you do that to yourself? I used to box, so I always had an attitude problem. Okay. You so have to fight somebody that you don't even have a problem with. So oh, I would so think, as soon as you step in the ring, I'm a killie. Oh, uh-huh. Real shit. But you yeah. don't even know this person. I know, but he gonna hit me, though. Right. <laughs> I got a kill you. <laughs> well, that's good, Charles. You don't got to worry about nobody acting up. It's, right. It's a party, you know. Uh, right. We got Danny right, right here. Yeah, Give me that one-two punch. Okay. Oh, now, what's going Is there a theme for the party? You know I'm all about themes, so we got to get it right because I need to make sure I'm dressed appropriate because it's been, you know, I don't understand. Well, <laughs> it's part, I get, you know, we go to these parties and I, maybe I mix up, I overdress. I'm like, wait a minute, I should have just threw on my jeans or something. So I'm trying to. party. Oh, okay. Um, you know what's funny? We labeled it, like as, the, we yeah. labeled it as the last uh, summer party of the year. The yeah. last big pool party of the year. Mm. So it's a pool party. It's a pool party. Yes, yeah, so we okay. want to have bikinis. So you want to see is ass out in the streets. Ass and tits. <laughs> I ass and tits. They exploit in themselves. I see what y'all trying to do. They exploit themselves. If I could put on a bikini, I would. But uh, yeah. <laughs> you can, Danny. Well, well, you can put your trunks on, Danny. Care. You know how your trunks on? Spanks? She's a spank. Spank. She went from trunks. from trunks to spanks. Yeah. What? Right Charles, now? look at Charles. Me? No, not right now. For the oh. party. For the pool party. I don't know. That's a good question. I you know. better not come hey, out I'm, I'm all right. Yeah, Everybody no, out of here. I'm going to give us something special. We're we giving funny. away a lot of birch, you know, clothes, hats, and what? stuff like that. What? Y'all giving that. away stuff? Oh, yeah. Everything's mm-hmm. a giveaway. Wow. What okay. you got to pay for is the liquor and to get in. Everything else, if you arrive early enough. Why you look at me like that when you say arrive early enough? Because you're always late or something. We know you're going to arrive, but you know, you know how y'all do it. Y'all going to oh. show up and show out. Oh, okay. Fashion yeah, they always do. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute. Yeah, you know, you, you really out. don't know, then. <laughs> <laughs> we be like sometimes, okay? But, I'm having a shirt on with a, oh. something different so you can stand out besides the crowd. Gotcha. Okay. So everybody gonna know. Plus, you gonna know who we are. So we gonna have some. I'm gonna have security walking with me. Gonna have security walking with him. Okay, we gonna have security walking with us too. (laughs) (laughs) Me. (laughs) We're in it. Everybody protected in this thing. Right. Everybody protected. Everybody got security. Yeah, and we don't have you do security on the fourteenth, okay? Mm-hmm. But no, that think that'd be fun for us. Just in case, just in case somebody acting a fool, they get thrown in the pool. Oh shit! You can't hit them, Danny. You got. Uh, no, nah, that's what I said. Thrown in the pool. I'm a thorn, I ain't gonna hit them. So what else is going on at this pool party? Because I heard you're gonna have some performances and everything. Yes, we have uh, performances. We're gonna do a bikini fashion show around the pool. Oh. Um. Best ass wins. Gang. Uh, <laughs> Gang. Okay. Deja, you should do that. I was waiting. I'm like, Miss Butterfly. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like Wes B, where you at? I'm always trying to promote oh, that baby you. butterfly. You. You Wait, so is it a booty show or is it a modeling show, Charles? Let's it's both. He's both. looking at you like. It's modeling, but it's sure ass included. We're going ass included. Yeah, ass included. Ass sold okay. separately. We'll be in there. <laughs> so it's going to be kind of like the ass and titties. Fashion show slash bikini. Okay. Okay. Cool. And you guys have some other performances as yes. well? Can you tell us about it? Um, or is that a surprise? We have Honey Blunt, J.R. Mills performing. Yeah, and he just came out with the new season on uh, Love and Hip Hop Hollywood. Mm-hmm. Okay. He's coming okay. up on the new season. So. Dope. Uh, Tay F. Third. 
We're going to have Roscoe from the Dog Pound. Oh, yeah, I just seen him. We're going to do all this. Like, hits with big weeks dog ago. and all those, like, you know, uh, we're trying to get Omar Good in the performance single. Oh, okay. Even though he didn't call us to shoot the video, which I thought he should have did. But uh, I love you still, Omar. <laughs> he was at that video shoot too. Uh, okay. Okay. Oh, 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 he <laughs> I think we was there. I think he was at the shoot. He came here, right? right up. I think it was a last minute thing. He came to the show. Last minute, Leo, I'm trying to help him. Right, right. right. Last minute, right. they didn't even know. Everybody was just chilling. It was like, let's do a video, and that's how it happened, right? So Daddy looked like, I ain't going for that shit. <laughs> yeah, so you say. <laughs> All right. So what else would you guys want to promote here before we head out and get these pictures rolling? We, we trying to do, we, we trying to get on Netflix with the movie The Shaw, the movie that we've been working on for a while. We got Omar Gooden in it. Uh, uh, Tiffany New York. Yeah, the mm-hmm. Mixing Twins. Oh, everybody in Action me. Jackson. <laughs> Uh, Lil Easy. Charles, I'm looking at you, Charles. I got you. I got you. She's like, where my part at? I told you, biggest <laughs> complainer. <laughs> Show my part at. <laughs> what do you want to do? Like, you want to model or act? Or? I want to act. I want to act a damn fool. I want to act a damn fool. Okay? You give her that dark liquor. Easy. You know? And I want to write. You know, you know I'm a writer and stuff. And I feel, you know what? I feel y'all be hating on me. Because y'all know it's a secret weapon. And y'all like, you know what? We're going we gonna to let her wait. Okay. Well, I bet you have some dark liquor. What you drink, Hennessy? Right, give her dark liquor. Don't, don't drink dark liquor. That's the uh, thing. But Patron. I will drink it, you know, in spurts. But I well, should not. We're going to be doing shots. Look, shots, shots, shots. That's all the favorite lines. Shots. I did like how many, like 10 shots last night of 1942. And I woke up and had a hangover. Everybody keep talking about this shots. 1940. I don't, yeah. drink, I don't drink, so I don't know. But that was my first time like, taking it. Was it good? It was. It was cool. You know. Was it it's, whiskey or what? It's what is tequila. It? It's tequila. tequila. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. What have you doing? Oh. What have you done? Oh. 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 I, I remember. <laughs> I ended up in a jacuzzi. Booty ass naked. Doing strange things. What did you say, Spider? Booty ass naked. No, I was not naked. I had on some shorts and a and a shirt. Shorts. <laughs> shorts. shorts. I don't know. What kind of shirt? It was fun. Right. That part. Who was what next to you? Was it see through? Exactly. Was it a wet t shirt? Was it pasties? Was it shirt? Who was with, who was in there with you? Shut up, Smiley. Now you're asking too many questions. Right. Oh, he was getting freaky in the jacuzzi. Yeah, just blame Sophia for it, damn it. I'm never going out with her again. So never going out with her again. So don't worry, Charles. We're going to bring out the sparkle after dark to the party yes. this week. Yes. Madam Sparks. That's the one sparkle after dark. That's the one I want. Now, in the Felicia, building. I know you talked about winning an award. You can do it with this fashion show. Her booty ain't that big, though. You're going to be nominated. First, first place. Her booty ain't that big. <laughs> You, know, you, can it. you can take right. it. You can take it. You can take it. I don't do fashion shows. I'm gonna be one of the. I'm gonna be one of the judges. So. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, this is what you do. See, look, you do the fashion show. I could be the clown of the fashion show. I'll come out doing something silly. But I don't. You know, I don't prance around and do fashion shows. That's Deja's job. <laughs> you know? I, I'm really, I'm really shy with that kind of stuff. I don't, you mm. know, I'm too short anyway. Mm. You ain't shy. I am. I let her fool y'all. I'm like, look at that. Judging me. Short. Everybody say they short. I tell them put some heels on. See how short you are then. Yeah, but we gonna be drinking too on heels and yeah. <laughs> water. The hills, yeah, water, hair. Embarrassing me. <laughs> so, Charles, so, so is this party open to the public, or is it just people invite only? Or Special like, invite only. Okay. So you got to do pre-sale. It's a two-drink minimum to get in. Okay. Um, but it's special invite, so not everybody can just show up. Okay, mm-hmm. cool. So we're going to be exclusive. You got to know somebody. You gotta know somebody. <laughs> we got to limit okay. it okay. to people that we actually, you know, because if everybody well. show up, we just be shut down. Oh. Yeah. Right. And what day is this on? The 14th. 14th. Next, next uh, Saturday. Bet. This Saturday. The I'm taking off work. <laughs> so go ahead and let everybody know where they can find you on your social media handles. Yes. Um, you can find me at Instagram, Charles Clemens, Facebook, Charles Clemens, uh, YouTube, C2 Entertainment 100, 
Twitter at Charles Clemens. Please subscribe if you go to YouTube. Yes, please subscribe. Please subscribe. Of course. Michelle. Ooh, well, thank y'all for coming through. We were definitely. He minds his Danny asshole, as you know. And Danny, <laughs> he just killed me with that. That's on Instagram. <laughs> But on Facebook, I'm Danny Rias. Okay. Okay. See, that's a little more settled. Wait, but Danny, Danny has to do his ending slogan. Uh-uh. I don't know if y'all know about what he says. Uh-uh. What's that, Danny? Ah. Danny, a fool. Well, thank you guys for stopping by Champagne Party. Yes. What's up, thank you, thank you. So, so we're going to cut to a break <laughs> and then after this break I got another special guest we're going to bring in Sugar Boom Boom is here and he's going to chat with Champagne Party about what's been going on so thank you Charles and Danny for Sugar stopping Boom. by yes so we will be with you after these messages brought to you guys by Marcus King Presents on what? Dash Comedy thank you Deja <laughs> he might kill you no? Hey everybody, welcome back to Champagne Party. What's going on? We got our next special guest in the building. We got DL Downer. Hey, what's going on? What's going hey, on? Right. Hello. I'm glad to be here. What's well, going on? Welcome. Yeah, right. yeah, thanks for coming through the Champagne Party. Oh, yes. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. We got the cameras lighting up. Everyone's <laughs> hey. like, who is this? Right. Welcome, welcome. So what's going on with you? How's your day? Uh, it's good now. I'm good. Yes. I'm here in LA, you know. I Where? stay in Bakersfield. Oh. You know, so it's like wow. 100 death degrees out there right I now. Know. So it feels good out here. Okay. I was going to say, I can tell you from, I was going to ask where you were from, but I hear your accent. I can tell you from LA. Like, I feel like LA, California yeah, people have an accent. Yeah, yeah. We, yeah, we got an accent. We got a look. You know what I mean? So we get hated on a lot, especially out of staters. You know, okay. we don't really like us out there. So you're originally from LA? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So how did you end up in Bakersfield? Uh, okay. Parole. From the feds, and that's when my family did that. So uh, when I got out, I stayed there for a minute. I got into the oil field, mm-hmm. and that's what I was doing when I got out. I went to the oil field. Oh, we jumping right into it. So tell, let all the listeners know just a little bit about you first, and then we're gonna jump oh, okay. into the story because I'm really intrigued by the story. I was like, damn, what? Man, definitely. Almost. Awesome. Uh, I'm Dale Downer, James Williams. Oh, is that me? Yeah, like- uh, who's, who's the ringer going on? Everybody taking their calls. Like, who's from this town? Oh, that's me. Oh, wow. That's Instagram. That's Instagram. Yeah, my Instagram went out. My calls out. That's Instagram. Oh, my God. My calls out. Yeah, so I'm James. Uh, my street name is Downer. Um, I'm from the streets of Los Angeles. Uh, well, I raised, I was raised everywhere though, man. From La Puente to Bellflower, mm. um, to uh, Glendale, to Hunga. So I actually lived all over LA, um, oh, Pasadena. Yeah. Um, so yeah, man, so uh, I was in the streets. I did a little gangbang thing for a little while and uh, I got caught up. And uh, when I was in there, I wrote this song. You know, now, man. how did you get started being, you know, in the streets? Yeah. Oh, just, you know, ran to a group of friends, and that's what we were. We were just, a, you know, we grew up together, you know what I mean? So, uh, shout out to Homeboy Risky, doing life. <laughs> um, so, it's yeah. something like a neighborhood thing, and then you yeah. kind of just... Yeah, so, my, my parents, my parents are broken up, so I had moved around, so sometimes I stayed with my dad, sometimes I stayed with my mom. Um, <clears throat> I really wanted them back together, <clears throat> but obviously that wasn't going to happen. Mm-hmm. So, I got, you know, I stayed with my dad, and that's how I met my homeboys, because, you know I mean, one summer I was out there with him, and, uh, I met, that's why I met my, my own boys. And uh, I, sort of, I sort of stayed like that. I felt like uh, it was a better environment for me. But, but it wasn't, obviously, but I felt right. at the time that it was. So mm-hmm. I stayed like that. All right, so then it came to a point where you ended up going to jail. Yeah, a few times, but uh, this last time was, was my opener. So what exactly happened? I got caught up with a gun in Oklahoma, out of state. and. Uh, mm-hmm. They thought I was transporting, and actually um, they got me because uh, Oklahoma doesn't uh, make weapons, they don't make guns, firearms, so they got me for uh, uh, interstate commerce. A felon with the possession of interstate commerce, so they don't make, they don't make, so yeah, they, they broke me off. And then I got out, actually I got six years out of it. Um, I got out and uh, went to a halfway house, stayed there for like 30 days, I was like, this wasn't for me. Took out from the streets, uh, they caught me up again, and I did another five years for it. Uh, 
So you tried to, well, you escaped. Well, I walked away. It's not like it was, you know, it wasn't, right. you know, it wasn't Alcatraz or nothing like that. It was, right. a, it was, I walked away. It was a federal halfway. It was actually a state and federal halfway house. But since I was a federal inmate, mm -hmm. I was still doing federal time. Mm -hmm. And so when I walked away, it was escape from their facility. So they treated it as such. Did you know that you could have possibly have gotten another five years when you did walk away? Yeah. You just didn't give a damn. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. All right. Get <laughs> the hell out of here. Yeah. I, I, wow. and, and, you know what I mean? And like I said, sometimes we, uh, we do things and we really don't trip on the precautions of it, you know what I mean? We don't really trip on that until, you know, you're in that situation. It's like, oh man, if I made this choice. So in the halfway house, do they give you like a little bit of freedom or it's just like, how is it exactly there? Yeah, it was a co-ed halfway house. And oh, <laughs> co-ed, uh-oh. Hold up, co-ed so halfway house? <clears throat> yeah, they be yeah. Hot yeah. Either. yeah, it was a co-ed halfway house. So I, I met up with a co-ed female. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, we coedly walked away from that place. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so she left with you when you yeah, left? Yeah, she left with me, and uh, we actually got busted together. Wow. You know what I mean? so, now, did we, she get how many? I was chasing she, that dragon, so it was like <laughs> I didn't really care I, at the time. I wasn't tripping on nothing. Mm. Now, did they put five years on her? No, nah, she no? was just she was a state parolee, so she was oh, just shit. yeah. She, a matter of fact, I think uh, she did like a little tiny violation or something like that and got out. They don't give women nothing. Okay. Yeah, so <laughs> She's probably listening in to this right now. <laughs> now, you also do music. Yeah, I didn't really know, really. Uh, I started as poetry. Like, my mom does poetry, so she used to sing, like, it's not single, but she used to spit her poetry to me when I was little. Mm -hmm. And I remember that, you know what I mean? Uh, now, I think, wow, it was sort of corny. You know what I mean? Some of Because, you know, I have some of the poetry that she had, that she had written me. Mm -hmm. But uh, it was really cool, you know? Mm -hmm. And uh, so I just... I started dabbling in it, and I like po I love poetry. I love to see what I can do. Like, like I like, I like to make my own heart hurt sometimes. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> that, you know, when the heart hurts, that makes like the best it's music, cleansing. Yeah. Yeah. The best writing. Yeah. Comes yeah. When you go through something, when exactly. you go through something, yeah. And then you know the audience, they can feel that. They're like, yeah. damn, that touched my heart. So yes. It's like, it's, totally. It sucks at the moment, but it's. On the long run, it's you yeah. know, like really good. So, I feel it's yeah. like cleansing to me. Right. Okay. So that kind of helped you get into music, having her. Yeah, actually, her, uh, her it poem. wasn't even like that. I was in the oil field, so I wasn't like trying to be in the music like that. I, uh, I had spit a couple of times to my homeboys out in the oil field, like, we should go record that. Mm -hmm. And they weren't even talking about Sugar Boom Boom. I never even spit that to nobody. And they were just talking about some other stuff. So I went down to Psycho Realm's uh, studio in LA and, uh, through my cousin and did two songs there and just for my own purpose not to release them not for nothing else just just have something i was still working the oil fields i was a roughneck in oil fields so i was doing working with oil rigs and uh so it wasn't until i actually got married and uh i got into it with my wife one day and i went to go stay with my sister and uh, she's like hey brother why don't you do that song she's going boom for me and i did and she's like well why don't you do it with my niece on i mean with your niece on there with her daughter and uh, I didn't even know my, my niece can sing. And uh, so I go, well, go practice it first. And she practiced <laughs> it. Well, because, you know what I mean? I just wanted, I wanted to see, you know, how and she, she is. Yeah, she did really good at first. She was like 15 or 16 years old at the time. And she did amazing. So I was like, yeah, let's do it. This is it's for fun. I mean, I had six Facebook friends, man. That's, that's all I had. And I woke up the next morning, and it was crazy. It was stupid. Wow, okay. That's awesome. So how did the name Sugar Boom Boom come about? Yeah. So, anybody that's ever done heroin knows that it has a sweet smell. Mm -hmm. And everybody, anybody that's ever done heroin knows that after you do some heroin, you get that boom, boom. It's like a, it's like a double, I don't know how to explain it, but it's, it's, a, it's a, like two weights just literally like weighs your whole body down. Mm -hmm. So that's where the boom, boom comes from. I was like, sugar boom boom. I'm interested, mm -hmm. interested to know, like, how did this come about? So that's that makes sense. Okay. Okay. And I think we have sugar boom boom. So we gonna go ahead. Um, we're gonna go ahead. Now, and, just real quick. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cut you off. So they've been through my, it all day. <laughs> okay, I'm used to. It. <laughs> so I don't want to get nobody confused because my niece is the actual one that actually was on with me on the fridge rail, not on the fridge but on the one uh, in the kitchen. But since then, she's done her own thing, and uh, on this version, I believe you got now, is uh, the one with Lady Dice on there, and I met her a few years later, and she's doing really good stuff right now. So that's, this is who's on the track with me, is Lady Dice, 
and myself, Sugar Boom Boom. All right, let's hear it. Like to hit, hit, go. Listening to DL Downer with Sugar Boom Boom, that was hot. Thank, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So the the singer that wasn't your niece. No, that's oh, not my okay, niece. Okay. That's Lady Dice. Lady Dice. Um, that and was we have a few nice. tracks out together. So yeah, it's um she's really cool. We're getting ready to uh, drop a video to this oh, in okay. December. So it's gonna be really cool. What's the video concept gonna be? Um, more or less my story. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Um, as as much as I can uh, remember of it, <laughs> you okay. know, because uh, I was, it was a fog. So yeah, it's my story, and um, and a lot of people think that Anna, and I don't know if I may be giving out too much right now. I'm not sure why, but uh, go ahead, give it out. Like, yeah, give it. Anna, <laughs> Tell us all. When he says like I met a chick named Anna, a lot of people were thinking that's like um, a female, but it's really not. It's heroin. So, oh. but I wanted it to be uh, an enticing female because to any heroin addict, it's, it's an enticing drug to them, you know? Mm -hmm. So I wanted to metaphorically try to pull it off like that. And I think we did a great job, Wop. So shout out mm -hmm. to Wop City Productions, man. He's behind the video of this, so it's gonna drop. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So is that something that you overcame or is something that yes. you enjoyed at the time? Um, it's something that I overcame. Like, um, it's, uh, it's crazy. Like, I don't even know how to explain it. You live in a fog and you lose a lot of people during this. Cause I did, yeah, I heard it was a very addicting drug. It's it's very um, whether you smoke it, whether you slam it, whether, whether you snort it, cause you can do it all. You mm. know what I mean? Um, oh wow! And it's just it's terrible and, and it's crazy because these kids are getting into it you know, at a young age, especially on the East Coast. You go out to the East Coast, man, and it's crazy out there, and it's it's trickling down here to the West Coast too, obviously, because I know a lot of homies, you know, what I mean, that are way younger than me that are. That are they're fucked up in the game. I'm sorry. They're messed up no, in the yeah, game. Yeah, you, you, know you can cast me. All right, my bad. My bad. So yeah, they're, they're, they're fucked up. So mm -hmm. you know, it's 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 relative. Straight yeah. up, it's it's relevant right now. Well, Especially shout out to you for you. overcoming that. Thank you. Yes, for mm -hmm. sure. Now Thank in the song, what does it mean, chasing dragons? So that's usually um when you smoke it, you know, you chase that, you put it on the foil. And you light it up and you chase that dragon all the way up. Oh, you know, you sure chase the smoke. The smoke is the dragon. It's oh, the heroin. Wow. You know? Okay. All right. So where is everything, like with the music? How long has it been since you, you've uh, gotten out of jail? Um, shoot. I got out in 2010. So okay. So how was out. that journey since you've been out, the transitioning and everything going? Different. It was cool. Like when I first got out, it was uh, real different, you know, because people don't run the same way they do in the joint, you know, out here. So it's different. You know, I mean, so many bumps in you out here, you just can't, you know, it's different. You gotta act like a person out here. But in there, it's more like, it's animal instinct in there. Mm. So, so it is a different transition, for real. Okay, and how's everything going? Like, what are your goals that you have right now? What are all the things that you wanna have, just make it success out of? Well, I want to, uh, when I leave this world, cause like I said, I got, my, I had kids when I got busted, so there was little, um, my son's out there with me right now. Aww. He's 21. Um, when I went to jail, there was three and two and five. Oh, my wow. daughter's actually looking at a life sentence right now. What? So, um, yeah, so I, I really want to uh, make an impact to them as well as to someone like them. Um, in that, you know, to the kids. So mm -hmm. that if, they, if they're feeling like going down that road of gang banging or drugs, um, because they ain't, whatever they're lacking at home, um, I just want to leave an impact to them and hopefully, you know what I mean, change somebody's way of thinking. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't know. It's possible. Just, yeah. And that's a lot of kids out there that need to hear that because yeah. some, you know, they have broken families, broken homes, and they don't have a, a place to go to or anywhere where they can get that positive feedback, energy, nothing. They just hear, you know, do this, do that from the streets, and yeah. that's yeah. what they're doing. Yeah. So, do you speak at like schools and stuff? Have, have you been? You know, what, I go into back this? to. I went back to the halfway house I actually took off from. Oh wow! Yeah. They're like, nice to see you again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm back. I actually got to go Tell back. Me. me and Lady Dice went back there and we performed for the fellas right there and the staff. Wow. Um, oh, wow. I get to do that. Um, I'm really wanting to get into the schools. I'm actually in talk with a couple of uh, CDC higher officials right now to try to get me into the prisons and see what we can do about that. But you know, they get, you know, but they're in like a transition period in there right now, so I don't know, I don't really know how that how that's gonna go down right now. But so it's been on hold. But yeah, I'm just that's what I want to do. That's what I like to do. It's just nice. getting there and, and making an impact like that. All 
Awesome. So are there any artists that you plan on working with in the near future? I was just you? about to ask that. Too. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, read my mind, girl. I'm right. actually <laughs> getting ready to drop a, a single called Bring the West Back with X-Rated. That's oh, going to drop oh, on okay. uh, November 13th. That drops. So awesome. the video will be right behind it. Bob will be on that. Um, but yeah, man, I'm, I'm, I'm excited to work with Snoopy Blue. Mm. Um, out there, you know what I mean? I think uh, Compton, Snoopy Blue, okay. um, he's out there, so I'm, I'm excited to work with him. We got some tracks coming up. Uh, Cordell Drake out there in Washington, I'm excited to work with him. Um, yeah. That's so crazy. Yeah. X Rated, he did his interview with us, what, like two, three weeks ago? Mm -hmm. he was oh, cool. here. Yeah. yeah. It's a small world. Oh, yeah. That's a coincidence. Yeah. Right, right. That's good. <laughs> okay. okay. So, what are, are you currently working on? Any projects that. Yeah, awesome. Moon Rocks. Oh, yeah, tell us about so that. Um, I'm a weed advocate now. <laughs> I, I love my marijuana. I don't, I don't do nothing harsh. I don't even take pills. I mean, like as far as headaches, nothing. You know what I mean? I smoke my weed. If I feel like I have some kind of backache, I smoke weed. <laughs> so I'm an advocate for weed. So yeah, I got this song called Moon Rocks, man. And uh, I ran to Dr. Zoyak, who actually is the originator of Moon Rocks, and uh, he has. Need to do a song, so I got a couple of people involved. We did this song called Moonbox. Oh, so, and when can we song. expect that? That drops on September 13th. Oh, okay. Yes. Well, we got a little, we got a little snippet of the song right out of here. Yes. But before we head out of here, because we want to get some pictures and everything with you too, let everybody know where they can find you on social media and right. how they can get a hold of you. On Instagram, you can find me at, at the DL Downer. Um, as well as Facebook, you can look me up on uh, James Williams. Um, Twitter, same thing, the D.O. Downer. Use the three for the E in Downer, so that way you look up the right Downer. But yeah, awesome. everything's the D.O. Downer. And then go ahead and introduce this song. This one's called Moon Rocks featuring Big Six yeah. and Young Quicks. Dr. Yeah. Welcome back to Champagne Party, brought to you guys by Marcus King Presents Song Dash Comedy. And we have our lovely special guest in the building. We got Miss Voodoo Doll from Black Ink of Compton in the building. Hey, hey. Thank you for having me. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Through. She's Glad so to be here. Cute. I know. She's adorable. <laughs> thank How you. are you? What's been going on? Oh man, so much. Um, you know, especially with the show wrapping up, it's 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 been good. It's a lot. Very busy. <laughs> now, how did that get started? Are you originally from Compton? Like, no. How did they do this whole process of. Um, for me, I mean, everyone came in a little bit differently, but for me, it was like I was in the right place at the right time. I'm actually from Seattle, Washington, and I moved oh, here yeah. to LA about two years ago. Mm. And um, my first year at the shop, um, you know, I, I uh, was working with someone, and then from, from there, it just kind of, like, he had connections, and it kind of just took off from there. That's good. So, yeah, you are on Black Eek of Compton. Yes. yes. So how is that? I, I've been watching. I, I'm like, the drama. Now, how do they create this drama, or y'all really that dramatic? We, we are. I mean, like, we're, we're such a huge family that I think that sometimes, like, our personalities clash, and so, yeah, I mean, it's... Sometimes things get heated and, you know, <laughs> it just happens. <laughs> so is it real beef? Like, is there anyone in particular on the show that you like, uh -uh, I'm not messing with them? Uh -uh. Mm, I'm not going to spill the tea too much. <laughs> but, <laughs> but you know, like, definitely, like, our, you know, disagreements and arguments. I mean, there's, you know, it's it's real. Yeah. So were you, you are familiar, were you familiar with any of the guests before the mm -hmm. show? or? Yeah. Um, I actually worked with one of the uh, the uh, crew uh, crew members, um, and so that's pretty much like how I got on because um, we worked together. Oh, yeah. you're an actual tattoo artist. And I, I see am. how you tats. I'm like, that. yes. Oh. Sorry, All right, yeah. you make it look artistic. See, <laughs> right. some of the tattoos look. <laughs> I don't know, but you make it look good. Right. I've been trying. I need my back done. I I, I gotta cover this shit up. <laughs> so you got a nigga <laughs> name on there, huh? Cover up to somebody. <laughs> <laughs> it was a mistake. A mistake of my life. <laughs> and I got a story for you. Like, there you go. No, seriously. <laughs> so, how was the transition coming from Seattle to the big city of Los Angeles? Oh my gosh, um, it was everything no I thought it would be and like more, um, you know, I always saw um, LA is like basically Hollywood, like, you know, the, where dreams come true and, you know, being from Seattle, you know, it's such a small area and I don't know, like I always saw myself 
uh, kind of like moving from that and just becoming something bigger and it was hard like I thought I was just gonna come here and you know like be instantly famous but you know I I now know that that just just to be successful takes so much work I mean it's a yeah. lot of work to just live mm-hmm. and um, honestly like it was just for me it was just luck like literally like right place at the right time and, I mean I still worked hard you know to like cultivate my skill but it's hard I mean, everyone's kind of like wanting to, you know, build their own thing, and so you really gotta like focus mm-hmm. on what you want and just make it happen. Like, don't give Keep up. Keep going at it. Yes. Keep going. Yes. Yes. That's something that you, you have to be consistent with mm-hmm. it. Mm-hmm. For sure. Yeah. Okay. So, what exactly? You guys wrap up in about what two weeks for the show? Mm-hmm. Yep. And so, what happens next? <laughs> <laughs> I'm nosy. <laughs> I mean, I mean, you don't want to tell. I don't want to tell. Oh I don't want to tell. God. You guys gotta see it. You guys gotta see it. I mean, it's it's getting better and better. And even I'm just when I watch, I'm just like, oh my god, <laughs> like, right, right. you know, it's it's a lot. Um, you know, like a lot of the drama. I mean, it's it's just it's great. I love it. Yeah. Uh, but then at the same time, you know, we just we just get along so well, and you know, um, you know, everyone's super talented. So so there that, is that all kind of like plays. Oh, so there isn't anybody from the show that you really have like serious issues outside of. I mean, filming. no, not really. I mean, I'm a Libra. Like, I get along with everybody. Oh, yeah, okay. So, <laughs> balance, <laughs> balance. <laughs> right I love Libra. Birthday coming up too. <laughs> okay, and what happened to your hand? You have a cast on your yes, hand. Yes. So I um, broke my wrist. Oh, so I yeah. punched right somebody. I am right-handed, thank God. Okay, <laughs> I was about to say, I don't know if I get my tattoo. And, yeah. Uh, okay. Well, I can still tattoo. It's just my wrist, not my hand, so oh, I can still tattoo. That's good. And you do some really good art and stuff. Thank I've been you. looking at stuff. I'm like, she got some talent. And then you have, like, a story that also goes along um, with your drawings and everything mm-hmm. that you do as well. So t- yeah. can you tell us a little bit about uh, your art and where it comes from? Yeah. Um, so I've always been interested in different cultures and... Um, um, you know, and I look at different art as sort of like uh, like a way of inspiration. And one thing that's always sort of connected with me was Japanese art. And um, mm. basically, I I like kind of like took that and like my favorite sort of subject are you know are women. Like I love women. I think they're you know one of the most beautiful things ever created. And so um, I kind of like put that together with a little bit of like um, you know like macabre, like some like. A little bit of gore but then beauty because I think that you know that's just kind of what life is about life is ugly it's beautiful it's sad it's miserable all at the same time and I think putting those things together um, really kind of creates something unique and so that's that's why I do I channel all these things that I feel and I you know put it on paper and on skin Mm-hmm. Nice. So, now how did you come up with the name Voodoo Doll? Yeah, um, you know, I wish I had some deep story or I don't know, <laughs> like, <laughs> but unfortunately, no. Um, I was trying to find something that was, like, catchy, but, like, you could hear it, and it's like, okay, now that sounds like a name. Mm-hmm. And um, so I was like, okay, what are the, what are some things about me that, that could, you know, help, you know, put together this name? And honestly, um, my family's from New Orleans, so I'm Creole, oh, okay. and so I was like, okay, voodoo, and then and then doll, but then the doll thing always uh, came to me because, like I said, I, I love, um, like, the beauty of women, and so I've always loved, like, that doll look, and so I was like, wait a minute, okay, maybe I'll put the two together, and it kind of worked. It was like a play on words, like voodoo doll, and then voodoo, and then doll. That's cute. <laughs> that's why I was like, okay, I know there's going to be some kind of story behind it, but that's, that's good. So how, um, do you have family out here in L.A., or no. are your family all in New Orleans, or how is um, They're kind of spread out, but they're uh, New Orleans, um, mostly in Washington State. Okay. Yeah. So and how was that? Um, well, when I left, I left with the intention of leaving everything behind, and so I've been pretty much, like, on my own, like, trying to figure it out, and so I don't, I don't really, like, talk to my family. Why? Like, you're not in touch with them at no, all? No, no. Um, but I'm sure they've seen you on the show, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, I'm sure they've seen you now. Huh? now huh? <laughs> they are coming out of the woodworks, for Classic. sure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so what did they say, like, from not having a relationship with them, but seeing you on TV now? Um, I mean, it kind of came to a surprise because, like, I didn't tell anyone. And so it's like, oh, my God, like, I just saw a commercial. Um, you know, sometimes I respond, sometimes I don't. And, you know, they're, like, kind of shocked because they're like, oh, I, I didn't know that this side of you, you know, was there. Um, 
but I mean, I don't. I'm just like, oh, whatever. Like, I don't know. <laughs> like, it's just, it's just one of those things. Okay. Yeah. And I have read somewhere that like your family was it. I don't want to get it all mixed up. Mm -hmm. Some of your family were into like a cult or some sort. Yeah. Uh, that's actually where I. Uh, well, yeah, that's where I came from. Um, I got kicked out when I was about, yeah, just about to turn 19. And um, I was pretty much in it for my whole life. And so, um, you know, because I didn't conform to the ideas and I didn't want, like, I just didn't believe in it. And so, um, you know, I ended up, you know, getting kicked out, so. What kind um, of cult was it? Like, what type of? Um, it was kind of like a quasi-religious cult. I mean, um, basically kind of like a, combination of different religions and then like he my stepfather basically like put together like all these like different elements of religion and, and put it into like a mold that he created like he wanted mm. like oh, so he created it, the he, mold yeah did he is is there a specific name or is it just something that I mean, yeah, there is, but it was like, like people asking me, it's just like, uh, I, I can't even say it because it's so like, <laughs> it it's you. like Baltimore, you know, like it's like, oh, uh, I, I, uh. um, because for me it was just so traumatic, and you know, even at a young age, it just wasn't something that I wanted to be a part of, and mm -hmm. you know, I'm, I'm glad that I was able to get out, yeah. you know, um, and so I just kind of like, mm. but at the same time, you know, I, I talk about it because I want to help other people, you know, I know that there are plenty of people out there who have had like a similar situation and you know they don't they don't see other people coming out of it and you know okay you know because I almost didn't and you know I I just didn't know anything about life and I'm honestly shocked that you know I'm still here alive today so that's why it's so important for me to talk about it now well, kudos to you right. for getting yeah, out of that you situation made it. Yes, and you're doing awesome yes. because you know the things mm -hmm. can happen after traumatic experiences, so that's good. Yeah. Now, <laughs> so were you doing tattoos back in Seattle, or mm -hmm. oh, you were? Yeah, um, it wasn't something that I took too seriously because um, I was still trying to figure out like what I wanted to do, you know, with my life and what career I wanted to have. And so I was actually in school for fashion design, mm -hmm. and. Um, this was like during a time when you know when I was still like living with my parents and then you know right around um, when I got kicked out I had a quarter left and when I got kicked out like I didn't have a job I didn't know like like what loans were and so um, I couldn't get any loans without like um, like a like a co-signer and I didn't have anybody and so I ended up having to drop out like I was a quarter away from uh, graduating and I had to drop out and then I was like oh my god like I don't have I don't have a job, I don't have any money, like, I need to figure something out, and I was like, oh, wait, you know, I, I like tattoos, and so I went online, got a machine, uh, I think it was, like, on eBay or something like that, I got a machine, tattooed myself, and then I was, and then the second, you know, the needle touched my skin, I was like, you know what, this is something that I think I want to do for the rest of my life, wow. and it just kind of took off from there, like, I started tattooing, you know, friends, um, uh, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> but then I was like, I wasn't very good, and so you know, I was like doing it, and then I was like, hmm, something, something's off, and then I decided to like kind of take a break and look for an apprenticeship, and literally, like no one, no one would hire me, um, and I was young, like I looked like I was like twelve years, twelve years old, so it's like I can see why no one took me seriously, but it took me, it took me seven years to find an apprenticeship and and, and a move, you know, and so. Sometimes it takes that while well, I keep going at it, and then something finally happens. So yeah, congratulations. Yeah, get her. <laughs> so you guys, we're gonna go ahead and cut to a little break real quick. You guys are listening to Champagne Party, and we got Miss Voodoo Doll in the building from Black Ink Crew of Compton. And when we come back, we're gonna try to tiptoe into the juice and see her love life. You know, we gonna touch base and just see what's going on. You know, we nosy, and we're gonna be right back. That's crazy. <laughs> Hey, hey! Welcome back to Champagne Party, DJ Westby over there on the beach. Welcome to what's going on? We got a guest in the building, Miss Voodoo Doll of Black Ink Crew of Compton. Hey. Uh, we also got another special guest. We got Miss Amber in the building. Hey. Hey. Welcome. How are you, Amber? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm doing good. I'm here. I'm alive. I'm well. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Tell us about yourself, Amber. So I am a young um, freelance photographer. I just got started. I did a couple of red carpet shows. 
it was pretty fun. I'm just trying to get my name out there and, you know, get this money. Okay. <laughs> There's a lot of it out there to get. We just got to be active and persistent. Mm -hmm. That's right. Speak it to existence, right? Absolutely. All right, now we're going to um, go ahead and start where we left off, Miss Voodoo Doll. <laughs> so, is there anyone special in your life right now? Yes, yes, there is. Um, I'm generally pretty private, uh, you know, when it comes to my love life. I've I learned to do that, the, you know, the hard way. Um, <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, um, it's it's great. Um, it's it's nice to you know, because I'm 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 pansexual, and so I you know I like you know men, women, um, you know um, trans. Like I, I really don't care, and so it's nice to be with someone who. What's it called? Uh, pansexual. So it's like I'm not. I don't allow gender to sort of like dictate love. Basically, um, mm -hmm. it's really just about connection. And you know, if, if you're a good person and we connect, and you know, totally, yeah, I'll, oh, I'll get awesome. to know you. That's yeah. the first time I've ever heard of that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. So many spectrums. I mean, there's, right. there's so many things. It's, like I'm just like, what? I didn't know there's a name for that. Yeah, right. <laughs> exactly. But yeah, no, it's good. Um, it's it's just nice to be someone who, um, you know, doesn't exploit that. You know, we we're like monogamish. Like, you know, we're. Okay. You know. <laughs> 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 but it's good. Like, you know, I hang out with girls, and you know, it's yeah, it's. So are you with a, a male or mm -hmm. a woman? Oh, you I are with yeah. men. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so how was that? Like, so you guys are monogamish? Mm -hmm. So you, as far as open? Or? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Y'all invite, <laughs> they invite oh, girls right. to the room. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> money on that one. <laughs> <laughs> He's okay with that? You're okay Absolutely. with that? Yeah. Wow. Absolutely. Yeah. So how, okay, so how does this go? Like, give us a little example. Like. Yeah, so for me, um, I've, I've never really been like, you know, um, a monogamous person, and so you know, I've I've tried, um, and you know, I, I think that because I was so young and didn't know like really like how to date, and so I you know met a lot of people who took advantage of that. And for me, communication is so so important. So when I meet someone, I'm like, hey, you know, just so you know, um, you know, I, I like men and women. I don't really see myself like being with one or the other. Like I'm I'm still young, like. You know, I'm not married yet, so like, you know, I'm, I just want to have fun. And so, so you let them know from jump. Like, oh, absolutely. Don't expect nothing, you know, yeah. out there, out of me like that because I ain't gonna give it to you. You know, I do what I do, and that's exactly. how it's gonna go. Mm -hmm. Say so that's exactly. okay. I love and that's that. important, but like for me though, <laughs> like it's like I'm so I'm so like relaxed and chill. I'm like, as long as you're you be communicating, you don't lie. Yeah. Um, then I'm totally fine, but almost everyone I've ever met this is the first time ever that you know I've been with someone who has not lied to me and I, I don't know it's like weird it's like oh, so like when he, oh I'm sorry, so like when he's about to have sex with someone else he would just say hey I'm about to do this and you'll yeah I mean like um, we generally like do it together though but um, <laughs> yeah <laughs> they bring girls to the room <laughs> she brings girls to the room bring a friend over right, right. <laughs> Yeah, no, absolutely. I mean, but we're just, we're just, we have open communication. For me, that's more important than anything. But it just sucks. Like, it's like, no matter how open-minded you are, like, people still lie. They still, you know, technically yeah. cheat, and that sucks, and so. Right. You don't um, have to do all this. Sometimes exactly. Sometimes they do, like, the most, and you're like, why? You I'm like, why? Said. You just said, like, <laughs> I would have been Definitely. totally fine. So. <laughs> have you ever been in a position where it started off, you know, you guys were both, like, you know, it's an open relationship, but then maybe that the other person wanted more they didn't want to do the open relationship anymore yes um and then i have to let them go hey she lit all these women in the world like especially like okay if this was a person and then i'm like wow this person's like amazing and, and i'm looking at the pros and cons and you know, then then I could see myself like I mean I'm flexible, um, so I can see myself like okay maybe taking a step back. But it's like when that happens, and I'm like uh, there's just so many things. I'm like I can't see myself being with you for the rest of my life. So wow. no. <laughs> So yeah. So you you have to date an open minded person. Yeah, absolutely. Sure. Yeah, it's like a requirement. <laughs> okay. For sure. Okay. So what? 
don't oh, I'm so <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's different. You don't see too many women. Like women usually want they want to have that perfect relationship and all that stuff. And usually it's the men that want the open relationship. Mm-hmm. Well, I, you know what? Lately I've been meeting a few females. It's a hot that girl summer. Say that like um, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> like really she she's one that you know she's like no no I'm I'm cool with that so that's good okay. It's mm-hmm. about time too. It's, I mean it's 2019. Right. Like, yeah. yeah. The, the, the standard change. <laughs> Yeah, for sure. So where do you see your life going, like, after Black Ink Group? Is there anything that you want to... Yeah, um, well, one of the things I really want to focus on, um, especially now that, you know, I'm beginning to have a platform, I really want to be able to, um, you know, like, help people who were in my position, you know, like, uh, there were times when, you know, I was literally on the verge of being homeless, and, and, um, and it's, like, with no support and no, like, you know, way to kind of like out of I really, I want basically, I want to help, you know, homeless. Uh, I want to help, you know, uh, members of the LGBT community, especially ones who got kicked out for, you know, loving who they love. Nice. Um, I, it's just so important. I just want to be able to give back because, like I said, you know, I, I didn't have anything and I'm so lucky to have had like the perseverance and like the drive, you know, to, you know, become something better and honestly you know if I could do it anybody can and I want to be like sort of a tangible um, vision that yes you can absolutely do it and so yeah it's for me it's just like you know giving back to the community um, yeah that's awesome. <laughs> yes that's you get a lot of uh, people that like especially on social media because that's like the way everything goes through nowadays mm-hmm. do you get a lot of people contacting you like asking oh for advice God. or help or absolutely you know? um I think like when the first episode dropped, um, you know, people were like, oh my God, like, I'm so proud of you. You know, thank you so much for telling your story. Um, you're an inspiration. And honestly, like, I, I mean, I was really skeptical at first, you know, talking about it because I didn't want that to be my label. Um, but, you know, I've been received really well and it's just amazing to hear people say, oh, thank you so much. Like, you know, you have no idea how much this helped me. And, you know, I, and, you know, they know people who have been in that position and it's like, you know, you just never know who you're gonna help, and honestly, if I can help one person, you know, I've I've done something good in the world, and that's all that matters to me. Yes, awesome. yes, yes. I think we could definitely connect with that. Well, I know I can because I've been through you know certain issues in my life, and when you keep it all in, it's like mm-hmm. it, it doesn't. It go builds away. up. Yeah. yeah, it just builds up, builds up, and then once you get it all out, it's like okay, I can breathe again, and then you never know. Just like how you're saying, we all about who else is in that position and you know who you can help out by telling your story so that's awesome I'll give it up to you girl yes, you know, thank you thank you yeah, thanks for sharing your story you know you're not gonna spill the beans on what's going on on the show right okay what do you want to know <laughs> who's fucking who who's fucking who what's going on who's going on want to know that juice what's the juice well you know obviously you know when you work around like a ton of attractive people um you know in this small space and you see each other almost every day you know things are definitely going to happen and so you know without revealing too much um you know things get a little heated and that's to be expected like i said everyone there's you know everyone's pretty good looking you know you see people you see the same people all day every day so it's like it's just bound to happen so (laughs) well thank you so much for coming let everybody know your social media handle and how they can get a hold of you. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I mostly use Instagram, um, and I have a website. But my Instagram is vudu underscore d a h l, and my website is voodoodoll dot com. V u d u d a h l. Awesome. And it was so nice talking to yeah, you and sure. hearing your story and hearing, you know. Black and Crew is is gonna blow up. It's doing like really well. <laughs> yeah, and it's interesting. You know, it's right here in Compton too. So yeah. it's like crazy. We finally got something going on up this way. So thank you for listening to Champagne Party, and this is brought to you by Marcus King Presents on Dash Comedy. And you guys just heard Miss Voodoo Doll from Black Ink Crew of Compton, and we're out.